The IS Luna returns from Destiny 1 and it's part of the 30th anniversary pack. So this one is a real fan favourite coming to Destiny 2 for the first time and it dominated PvP and PvE back in Destiny 1. Well now it's returned, plus also the weapon is farmable so you can get that god roll you need with a focused way to get it. Well today I'm going to have a look at the IS Luna, the stats the god rolls to chase for PvE and PvP, plus how to get the IS Luna in Destiny 2. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, first of all today, let's have a look at the IS Luna itself. So this one is a legendary kinetic stasis hand cannon with an adaptive frame, meaning it's got a well-rounded grip, it's reliable and it's sturdy. Looking at the stats, we got a massive 84 for impact, 56 for range, 68 for stability, 54 for handling, 50 for reload speed. It's a 140 rounds per minute hand cannon with 11 in the magazine. Well, as I mentioned, this is another 140 hand cannon. It's doing very well in the meta at the moment, you know, whether you're in PvE or PvP. And the impact stat here at the base level is really, really good at 84. And also, this is a kinetic hand cannon dealing stasis damage. So it does allow you to create stasis crystals and could work really, really well in stasis builds if you have the right mods. Well, next up, let's have a look at the IS Luna God Roll Guide. So for PvE, Outlaw and Kill Clip is the classic combination. Although given this is a stasis weapon, then Headstone also is pretty good as well. With the improvements to stasis crystals in the recent balance patch. Well, Outlaw is where precision kills greatly decrease the reload time and Kill Clip gives you the increased damage after a kill, and then you got headstone, so that spawns a stasis crystal at the dead body of an opponent when you get a precision final blow. So a couple of options there for PvE, but for PvP, I would go for something like Perpetual Motion and Moving Target. So Perpetual Motion is a new perk added with the 30th anniversary pack, and that gives you bonus stability, handling, and also reload speed when the wielder is in motion. And Moving Target, on the other hand, gives you increased movement speed and target acquisition, when moving and while aiming down sights. But let me know in the comments what you think. I'd love to know your roles of IS Luna and what you're using out there and what game mode you are using it in. Well, next up today, let's have a look at how to get IS Luna. So to get this one, it is a random drop from the final boss of the Grasp of Avarice dungeon found on the Cosmodrome. So to get access to this, you will need to purchase the 30th anniversary pack, which you can get through all of the platform stores, whether on PC, Xbox or PlayStation. Well, the IS Luna is a random drop from the final boss, plus the Grasp of Avarice Dungeon is now farmable. So when it first came out, it wasn't farmable. Bungie have recently patched it, and now you can farm away to your heart's content, and you will be able to get an IS Luna to drop for you. Just keep doing that encounter, and eventually it will drop. And this is really, really good, because this is a targeted way to get a really good weapon in the game, so you can hunt for that god roll IS Luna. Also, once you get the weapon to drop for you, you can also get this from the secret chests found in the dungeon. So there's many more places to get it if you need to. Well, let me know in the comments what you think of the IS Luna in Destiny 2. You know, how does it feel compared to other 140 hand cannons? And does it live up to expectations set in Destiny 1? Well, that is it for this guide for how to get the IS Luna in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, Hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description. Or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again. I'll see you soon.